an open letter from the forest to the young sapling. She lives in a forest, vast, beautiful, strong, spanning from one horizon to the next. So why is she lost in our leaves? We wrap her in our roots, her body intertwined with ours, but all she feels is the roughness of our bark. She says there is no sun because she can't break through our canopy. We tell stories full of energy and warmth, but all she sees is darkness above and shaded cool below. Won't she remember that there's something to strive for? Won't she long for the sun to adorn her crown? She says she feels hollow. Her trunk has become home to too many. Her sap was sucked and tapped her fruit plucked without care. She says she feels empty. She knows she has nothing left to give. She thinks she knows everything, but she forgets that she's seen fall. She forgets that she's endured frigid winters. She forgets the growth of spring and the warmth of summer. She forgets that we know this rhythm. Never ending like the roar of a stream. But she longs for the sky to cry in her steed, to crack like her limbs under foreign souls to fall, like weary leaves covering her in gilded drops. She says she feels hollow. She begs for the taste of metal to break through her crust, hacking at her rings to prove that she was alive, to prove that she had the ability to grow. We can't stand to see her feel hollow. Her Icarus ways breaks us, must she fall to prove that she was there? Our warnings are lost to the wind. But we stand tall, hoping to prove, to prove nothing. Only to hope that our roots can hold her steady and pray that our branches catch her as she sways because if she falls in a forest, feeling hollow and unwanted, rotting in her silence, will she even make a sound? We're failing as a forest. She's feeling hollow and unwanted. How do we know to mourn if she doesn't even make a sound? <laughs>